And so we've arrived at the final question of paper 1 in 2019. And these are some more probability questions. Let's dive right in. Question 11 says events A and B are independent. Uh, probability of A is 0 0.4, probability of B is 0 0.25. I'm going to write all of that just down again in case this isn't as clear on the final product. So we have A and B are independent. Independent. And we have probability of A is 0 0.4 and the probability of B is 0 0.25. Alright, uh, what does this mean? Now, in question, let's first look at probability of A and B. What does that, what does that mean? That means that the probability of A times the probability of B is equal to the probability of A and B. So that's what, what it means when events, when events are independent. Alright, question 11.1.1. Lots of little lines there. Represent the given information in a Venn diagram. Indicate on the Venn diagram the probabilities associated with each region. Okay. So let's draw a big rectangle and we've got two events. So let's call this A and this one B. Now it's usually best to start from the inside. So let's find out what this A and B part is. And we have to do that, we're gonna look at this at this this equation that we've written. So probability of A and B, that little intersection is equal to the probability of A multiplied by the probability of B. Okay, so let's do the multiplication. Probability of A is 0 0.4, so we've got 0 0.4 multiplied by the probability of B, which is 0 0.25, and that gives us a probability of 0 0.1. So A and B, probability of A and B is 0 0.1. There we go. Now we also know the probability of A is 0 0.4. So the whole A must be 0 0.4, which means that this part must be 0 0.3. So now we have 0 0.4 for this whole part. We can do the same thing with B. We know this whole section has to be 0 0.25. So this must be 0 0.15 to give this whole thing 0 0.25. And we must not forget then what is outside all of this together must add up to 1. So, so far we've got 0 0.3 plus 0 0.1 is 0 0.4 plus 0 0.15 is 0 0.55. So, 1 minus 0 0.55 gives us 0 0.45. So, that is outside. Alright, that was question 11.1.1. Now, 11.1.2. 11.1.2. Determine the probability of A or not B. Okay, I'm just going to rewrite this as probability of A or not B. Okay, so our equation for this is the probability yeah, um, let's let's first just use the Venn diagram to figure it out. I think that's what most people would do. So let's first do that. So the nice thing about an OR is we can just start off with whatever's first and just do that whole thing. So probability of A, so A, this whole A is 0 0.4, so we know we can already have the 0 0.4. OR means you add together with it, so everything else that's not B. So we've already had the A part, and then everything that's not B, so everything except for this little part. Wait. So that's the 0 0.45, right? Everything outside here, that's 0 0.45. So we can plus the 0 0.45, and that gives us 0 0.85. And I think that's what most people would do. But let's just do the, the proper algebra just for fun. So probability of A or not B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of not B minus the probability of A and not B. Okay, so probability of A is 0 0.4, probability of not B. 
So if B is 0 0.25, then not B is 1 minus 0 0.25, which gives 0 0.75. So 0 0.75 minus, and the intersection of A and not B. So where do we have A and not B? That's the 0 0.3. That's this section, right? This section is the intersection of everything that's not in B and is in A. So minus 0 0.3. And that'll give us... 0 0.4 minus 0 0.3 is 0 0.1, plus 0 0.75 is 0 0.85. Okay, so we see we get the same answer, and this is an important formula. Very important to know. Right, well, let's move on to a final, final question, 11.2. Question 11.2. I'm just going to write that down, and then we're going to read this big, long question. Okay, so Motors Incorporated manufacture cars with five different body styles I'm gonna write this down so long so body styles we've got five different body styles uh, four different interior colors so our interior colors interior colors are four okay so four interior colors exterior colors X colors is how many do we have there one two three four five six six exterior colors all right and now in the table below they've given us that information again now the the interior color of the car must not be the same as the exterior okay so let's quickly see what happens there so we've got on the interior we've got blue and we also have a blue on the exterior so there is something that's the same as a blue and a blue. Uh, gray, we have interior, but no gray exterior. Uh, black, we've got interior, no black exterior. Red, we've got interior and exterior. Okay, so those, the blue and the red are the only problem colors here. Now, let's see what the rest of the question says. So Motors Incorporated wants to display one of each possible variation of its car in the showroom. And the showroom has a floor space of 500 square meters, and each car requires a floor space of 5 square meters. Is this display possible? Justify your answer with the necessary calculations. Okay, to find out how many different m things we can make from this is, we say, it's the number of body styles, multiplied by the number of interior colors multiplied by the number of exterior colors that gives us all possible combinations so 5 times 4 is 20 20 times 6 is 120 all right so that is initially what we think but then we remember the cars cannot have the same interior and exterior color okay so how many cars can they be with a blue interior and a blue exterior well five because there's five body styles right so we have to say minus the 5 for the blue and minus the 5 reds that we also will have. So that gives us 120 minus 10, that's 110 different variations. And each variation takes up 5 meters of floor, floor space, giving us 550 square meters. So that is more than the 500 that they have available. So no, the display is not possible. All right, that brings us to the end of paper one. Now join me again for paper two.